What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, to my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button and be notified for these readings. This is a free channel collective reading for all signs. This is for Sana Pisces. Bonus reading for July of 2022. This will resonate if you have Pisces in any aspect of your chart. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or the Men Haven. Your charts. Let me go shut the door real quick. It's my washing machine. I apologize. So sorry about that. Um, so yeah, so this could resonate if you have Pisces in any aspects of your chart, sun, moon, rising, Venus, or them in Haven, Jupiter, charge. Don't forget, don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, apply. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate like the rest. Um, bonus reading for sign of Pisces. Love to appreciate each and every one of you guys. Uh, the subscriber account is going to remain private now, just to let everybody know. Um, if you'd like to donate, it's High Priestess 205. The link's in the description box below. PayPal only, no cash app, no Venmo. It's a very private, confidential way to donate if you choose to donate. Love and appreciate each and every one of you guys. Um, I did receive a couple channel messages in for um, you, Pisces, as well as meditating on your energy for the bonus reading. And I will deliver them. I hope everybody's doing well. The first one I heard, it was, I heard it big. I heard lawyer up. That's what I heard. Lawyer up. And I heard for one, you are the lawyer. So you plug it in, how it resonates. So lawyer up really big. So lawyer up. So I think one of you guys is about to lawyer up, or you're going to feel the need to lawyer up, um, or you're going to lawyer up. And for one, you are the lawyer. So for one, you are the lawyer they're going to lawyer up with, how that resonates. Um, and for one of you guys, um, oh crap, I forgot it. Hold on, I had a brain fart. Uh, hold on, give me a second. So lawyer up. So one of you guys is about to lawyer up, but for one, you are the lawyer. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. The other one, I heard a Pisces masculine lawyer through many series of chain events. So much truth is about to come out. So, 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 so public. They're about to drop a client. I heard an air sign masculine client. Um, I heard drop the case. Um, so you plug it in, how it resonates. So, so lawyer up. So one of you guys is about to lawyer up. Um, I feel one of you Pisceans about to lawyer up or you feel the need to lawyer up or what have you, what have you. For one, you are the lawyer. I think they're about to lawyer up with. That's situation two. Situation three, there's a Pisces masculine lawyer. So you are a Pisces masculine lawyer and you have an air sign masculine client, a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius masculine client. And I heard so much truth is about to come out so, so, so public, I guess about the case or about him or about the situation or what have you that I heard you are about to drop the case. So you're about to drop him as a client and drop the case. Um, I guess it, it sounds like it, it's not going to benefit you to take him on as a client. It sounds like um, there is about to be huge public embarrassment here. Huge. You intuitively felt you should have done this a long time ago and you should have. It's about to come out and come out huge. Okay, I heard um, you intuitively felt you should have dropped this case a long time ago, but you didn't, Pisces masculine lawyer. Um, so you felt you should have dropped him as a client, got out of the case, what have you, what have you, but you didn't. But I heard so much truth is about to come out so public and so like everywhere, something like everywhere to everywhere in their mama, that it's about to give you huge public embarrassment or him po huge public embarrassment, or you both public huge public embarrassment that you are about to drop him drop him as a client. Um, you plug it in how it resonates. You are a Pisces masculine lawyer. If that resonates for you, Pisces masculine lawyer for situation three. Yikes! You have to plug yourself in where you fit. Family court. Family court is what I heard. So family court. So when you, uh, family court. So I feel, oh, family court. So maybe you have to lawyer up for family court or you are the lawyer about to um, take someone on for family court or for situation three, maybe it's a family court issue. I heard family court. So you have to plug yourself in where you fit. 
um, wherever you fit. Heavy legal issues here, heavy. So you plug it in where it resonates. But family court, I feel for at least one of these situations. Spirit messages you have for sign of Pisces. Fourth chakra, Archangel Raphael, the heart chakra, number 38, could be a very significant number in one's life, number 38. It could be a possible age of you or somebody you're connected to or any, any other significant number in one's life, number 38. Spirit messages, you have a sign of, of Pisces. A Pisces masculine is about to get in the middle of a, hu of a huge lawsuit. Assault. He never thought he would, but he's about to. It's about to shock the hell out of him. Oh my god, we got such lawsuit energy, legal issue energy in here. My god. A Pisces masculine is about to get in the middle of a, um, a, a heard a lawsuit regarding assault. I heard he never thought he would, but he's about to. So whoever you are, Pisces masculine, I don't know if you are the one that has, that was assaulted or you assaulted person, people, place, or situation, or, well, not situation, you assaulted person, people, or family, however that resonates, Pisces masculine, or you were the one that was assaulted, however that resonates, sir, I heard you never thought you would get in the middle of a lawsuit regarding some kind of assault. So I think in that situation, you were the one that assaulted somebody, because if you assaulted somebody, you'd be placed in the lawsuit. So if that resonates for you, Pisces masculine, sir, I think you assaulted somebody. And I mean, I hate to say that, but I'm just being for real. I heard you never thought you'd get in the middle of a lawsuit regarding assault, but you were about to. Uh, through many series of chain of events, you are a Pisces masculine. You plug it in, how it resonates. Spirit messages, you have a sign of Pisces. A Pisces is currently in jail, and they're about to become very significant in another Pisces life. A Pisces is currently in jail, and um, this Pisces is currently in jail is about to become very significant in, in another Pisces life. So there's a Pisces currently in jail in the energetic space, and somehow this Pisces currently in jail is about to become very significant in one of you guys' life. I feel for... Um, Whoever that's for, you could be a friend of this Pisces in jail or a friend of me, or you could be um, the lawyer of this Pisces in jail, or you could be a family member or a community member or a co-worker or something of that nature. But there's a Pisces currently in jail, and somehow you, another Pisces, is about to become very significant. That Pisces in jail is about to become very significant to you. Maybe you uh, bail them out or bond them out, um, possibly. You plug it in how it resonates. All right, we have butterfly, uh, scorpion, spider, heart chakra, April, tree affairs with your family, kite, vacation. Butterfly. For some, you could be dealing with the air sign or a water sign. If you are, they could have Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio um, in their sun, moon, rising, Venus, ortho, and Manhattan, or Jupiter charts. If you are. Butterfly. A younger Pisces is about to move. Very single Pisces. About to move. States. Some country. It's about to be the best thing that ever happened to you. Well, that's beautiful, younger Pisces. So you're a younger Piscean. You can have Pisces in any aspects of your charts. Um... You have to plug this message or message in your own life how it resonates. Heard you're single, so like you're single in the tax form, single. Single is a Pringle, like me. Um, but I think, whoever you are, I don't think you have kids like I do. 
For some of you, could be single parents. Possibly, you have to plug yourself in where you fit. But I feel for a majority of you guys, you're not. Um, I feel you are single, single, single. Like, no attachments. Like, I have no emotional attachments. No legal attachments as far as um, spouse. But I do have kids. I feel for a majority of you guys, if you resonate for this message, you don't have any attachments at all. No kids. No baby mamas, no baby daddies, no husbands or wives, and you are about to move. I heard it's going to be the best thing that ever happened to you. For some, you're going to move states. For some, you're going to move countries. So you plug it in, how it resonates. So this is you coming into your butterfly energy, like you've already um, transitioned out of your cocoon, and you are turned into the butterfly, and you're flying, baby, flying, flying the coop. Love it. I can't wait until... Um, Oh, by the way, just to let everybody know, um, my child custody battle is on 725 of 2022, tentatively on 725 of 2022, tentatively. Um, um, please, everybody, think of me, your thoughts, prayers, well wishes, and kind words, um, and whatever you do, spiritual side, spiritual religious side, or what have you, what have you, no judgments here. Um, I'd appreciate it because um, this is not my first rodeo with my ex-husband. It's more like five, it's at least court battle five, if not six or seven. Um, with him, um, and he has a history of basically manipulating my daughter, um, and my, um, with a, about six years ago when I was dating somebody, I'll give you an example, two years ago he accused me of child abuse, true story, about six years ago I was dating this guy when I lived in the country, um, I've, I've been in this home, uh, I bought this home five years ago as a first time home buyer, but, um, and I've lived here for five years by myself, um, with me and my kids, but, before that, I was living in the country, renting a home uh, about six years ago, and I was dating this guy, and he manipulated my daughter, she was about 10 at the time, to walk around with the, the phone he had just recently bought her to take photos of his stuff in a drawer I put in a, um, in a drawer for him in my bedroom and take photos of his toothpaste and razor and things like that as evidence to use in the court of law that I was being contempt of court and breaking the papers because he said that I was breaking the court papers that I can't break the court papers can't have anybody live with me and blah 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 um, so he was, had her manipulated my daughter to snap these photos as evidence in the court of law um, that was about six years ago and he had her walk around with a streaming device I think Google Duo but it could have been any other device walked around had his face up on the camera and I looked up and his face was in the freaking streaming device looking at my home. He was directing her where to go in my home at the time. It was really creepy and really weird and very strange. And that was during the not last court battle, but the court battle before. Two court battles ago. So it's not the near the first rodeo with this man. It's at least court battle five, if not six or seven. So uh, if everybody could just keep me in your thoughts and prayers and well wishes, I'd appreciate it. it it's sad it's sad is what it is but anyway so you're about to um fly like the cocoon you're a younger piscean i feel 35 or below and you can have pisces in any aspect of your charts and you're about to fly baby fly and i love it i love it i love it i love it thank you um i almost said thank you so much but i mean thank you so much um you're about to fly you're about to fly baby whoever you are uh younger piscean for some is out of state for some is out of country so um you're about to spread your wings. And like I said previously, for some, I feel you have no attachments, period. But for some, you might be a single parent. Only you know you're storing out anybody else, okay? Scorpion. A Pisces is about to get betrayed by someone they ne would have never thought they'd get betrayed by at work soon. For some, it's a hospital. For some, it's long-term care facility. For some, it's in a restaurant. Okay, I heard a Pisces is about to get betrayed by someone you would have never thought you get betrayed by. For some of you guys, it's a hospital. For some, it's a long-term care facility. For some, it is um, a restaurant. So... You're about to get stung by the scorpion stinger. And a Piscean lawyer that's playing both sides. 
It's about to backfire on you in a huge way. And a Piscean lawyer that's playing both sides, it's about to backfire on you in a huge way. So you plug it in how it resonates. So, so some of you guys are Pisceans that work at hospitals, long home care facilities, or restaurants. And for one, you're a Pisces lawyer that's playing both sides, I heard. I heard you, Piscean lawyer, that's playing both sides, it's about to backfire on you. So you're about to get stung with the scorpion stinger um, because you're playing both sides. Not cool. Just saying, just saying. Um, but for everybody else that works at like long-term care, hospitals, or um, or restaurant, you're about to get betrayed by a coworker. You're about to get stung with scorpion stinger. Wing, 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 wing. Uh, huge betrayal energy here. For some, it could be by a Scorpio or it could be by any other sign. Um, you plug it in how it resonates. Spider? An Aquarius that has a sp uh, spider tattooed on them is about to become very significant in a Piscean's life. For some, this is a reader. For some, it's a tattoo artist. For some, it's a family member. Okay. A Piscean that has a ta um, I'm sorry, not a Piscean. A Aquarius. An Aquarius that has a tat uh, tattoo of a spider tattooed on them. It's about to become very significant in a Pisces life. So you, a heavy Aquarius energy, uh, if this resonates for you, it could be a masculine or feminine Aquarius. They, uh, but this Aquarius has a tattoo of a spider tattooed somewhere on their body. It could be, you know, lower um, forearm. It could be anywhere else, anywhere else. But some kind of tattoo of a spider tattooed on their body. This Aquarius, masculine or feminine Aquarius. They're about to come, become very significant in your life. Pisces. It's either your family member or um, a, a reader, a tarot reader, or who was the other one? Um, a family member, a reader, or um, there was another one. For one, it's an inmate. Prison inmate. For one, a jail inmate. For one, it's a prison inmate, and for one, it's a jail inmate. So for one, it's your family member. For one, it is a terror reader. For one, it's that other one. I forget what it is. You have to go back and check it. And for one, it's a prison inmate. For one, it's a jail inmate. But it's an Aquarius energy that has a spider tattooed on their body. Tattoo of a spider on their body. They're about to become very significant either in a positive or negative way in your life. Uh, Pisces. Four Chakra Archangel Raphael. A Pisces is a stay-at-home mother. One is about to be. A Pisces is a stay-at-home mother, and for one, you're about to be. So for one, you're about to be a stay-at-home mom, and for one, you already are. Um, you're a Pisces femme. You got Pisces in any aspects of your charts, but for one, you are you already are a stay-at-home mother, and for one, you're about to be. So um love of your child or children, um, love of yourself, love of being a stay-at-home mother or about to be a stay-at-home mother. However that resonates in your life, Pisces. Okay. April.
Some huge lies that were told on the Pisces in April of 2022 is about to backfire on someone, uh, a co-worker, in a huge way. For one. And for one Pisces, a huge lie your client told on another, on, on someone else. The party they're going up against is about to backfire on them in a huge way. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates. So, for one of you guys, you're in the 3D workspace energy. So, the everyday, like the work workforce. Like, I'm not in the workforce. I do this. But somebody is in the workforce. Um, one of you guys is in the workforce. Like I said, I'm not working in the workforce right now. I do this full time. Um, but one of you guys is in the workforce. Um, which is, if you want to be in the workforce, hell, I don't want to be. Um, my city fucking hates me. And that's just the truth. That's the damn truth. So, it's better for me to stay in hermit mode because I've been fired for wrongfully terminated four times in my city. And that's just the damn truth. Um, and it's really sad. So that I'm saving up to renovate my house and move the hell out of here. And that's just the truth. After I went back custody of my kids, that's just me, but I can only speak of my own personal story, not anybody else's, but one of you guys is in the workforce. So you work in the workforce and somebody told some huge lies on you in April of 2022. I heard it's about to backfire on you in a huge way. You could be masculine or femme Pisces, but it's a coworker of yours. Current coworker, it sounds like. And it's about to backfire on them. So it's about to energetically backfire and boomerang back upon them because they shit a lot on your ass. And that's just the truth. So April of 2022, all these lies are about to energetically backfire on them. If you could be a masculine or femme Pisces, but you were in the workforce, and it's about to backfire on you. That's for one of you guys. For one of you guys, you have a client. Um, a lawyer. You're a lawyer. Okay, you're a lawyer. You're a lawyer and you have a client. And um, your client is, um, your client is a masculine energy. Your client is a masculine energy. Your client is a masculine energy. And I heard basically um, they have told lies on someone else. So I think it might be the person they're going up against in the court of law is what I'm presuming because there's a reason they're in legal issues and there's a reason you're their current lawyer is what I'm saying. Uh, but, but you can be a masculine or femme Pisces lawyer if this resonates for you, but your client in this situation is a masculine client, but they have told huge lies on either the person they're going up against or somebody else. And I heard it's about to seriously backfire on them. I think they might have told the lies in April of 2022 as well, but you plug it in how it resonates. They interfered in their workplace, and it's about to backfire on them in a huge ass way. They interfered in their work in their workplace behind the scenes, behind the scenes. They interfered in their workplace behind the scenes, and it's about to backfire on them in a huge way. So, Pisces lawyer, masculine or femme, you have a client, a masculine client. They went and basically talked shit about this, I think, the person they're going up against in the court of law. They went and talked shit in the workplace about this other person. And now it's about to backfire on, on this your client, Pisces, mass, uh, Pisces lawyer. You be masculine or femme lawyer. But it's about to backfire on your client, Pisces lawyer, because they went as far to go to the, it sounds like the person they're up against in the court of law to talk shit about them at their workplace. And now it's about to backfire. It sounds like they did this in April of 2022. You, that's sick. That is sick. You need to say the hell out of people's business, period, point blank. And that's the truth. Affairs with your family. Family court, adoption, foster family. Family court, adoption, and foster family is what I heard. So you plug it in how it resonates. So some kind of family court, maybe you work in family court, or you're about to go into family court, or um, 
or something of that nature. I feel you either work in family court or you are about to enter into a family court legal issue or legal matter. For some, the family court legal matter could be the adoption or um, foster children. Um, you plug it in how it resonates. Um, I think one of you guys is about to become a foster parent or inquire about becoming a foster parent or you are a foster parent. Um, and for one, you're either, I think you're looking into adopting a foster child or foster children, um, or something of that nature, or you are an adopted child, um, or, or something of that, of that nature. I'm an adopted child, for anybody who doesn't know, I'm an adopted child. I'm a, I was a child of the system. Um, I was, I'm 30, almost 39, but I was a child of the system back when I was a child. Um, I was, I moved to the state of Alabama when I was six years old from the state of Louisiana, but I was a child of the system in the state of Alabama until I was, um, I think 17, um, because I graduated high school at 17, and then I went to college at 17. I was young. Um, so I was a child of the system. No shame in my child of the system game, and that's just the truth. So you plug it in how it resonates. So family, uh, family court, family law, whether you work in family court or family law, or you visit family court or family law, or you're about to have a family court or family law issue, um, and for some, I feel it could be the adoption or the, um, you're going to adopt child or children or look into adopting child or children, or you are a foster child, or you're about looking into a, a, obtaining a foster child or children. And for anybody doesn't know, um, you, you get paid for being a foster child. I mean, not for being a foster child. I'm sorry. If you obtain a foster child, like you, um, go through all the classes and the, um, approvals and all that and you become a foster parent you get paid to be a foster parent and um for anybody who doesn't know that um like my foster mother got paid basically to raise me and trust me she wasn't really the one that raised me it was my dad my foster dad that passed away when i was 18. um he was the true parent there but but they did they did they got paid um and trust me it was her because uh, she always talked about every month when the paycheck came in um, and that was the truth. So, um, and they made good money, really good money. I mean, really good money. <laughs> but yeah, she talked about it. So I don't know. You know, I mean, they were double income family. Um, my dad got money from land from his inheritance that rental money every month. And they got money from two adopted kids. So they had plenty of money, but yet she talked about it every month. So I don't know. But anyway, so uh, you, um, I, if you didn't know, for people looking into adopting child or children, you do get money every month for that. And that's just the truth. Vacation. A vacation to Hawaii is very significant in Pisces life and a vacation to Canada and a vacation to Washington, D.C. A vacation to Hawaii, a vacation to Canada, and a vacation to Washington, D.C. is very significant in Pisces life. So um, maybe for some, you've already taken vacations to Hawaii, Canada, or Washington, Washington D.C., or you're looking into going to those places or you have visited those places, or you want to visit those places. But somehow, a vacation to Canada, Hawaii, and Washington, D.C. is very significant in at least one of you guys' life. Um, one could be significant, or two or two plus. You plug that in, how it resonates. However, that resonates. Let me see if I hear anything else. A Scorpio masculine that lied and said he was with a Leo feminine. It's about to backfire in his face in a huge way. Know, know this. Never with this person, ever. A Scorpio masculine that was uh, claimed uh, he was with a uh, Leo fem. Um, it sounds like in a relationship or a third party or a sneaky link or something of that nature. Sounds like he claimed he was sexually with her. Um, 
or maybe in a relationship or maybe a marriage or uh, what have you, what have you. Never with this person ever. Only coworker energy. It's about to be very publicly known. Okay, I heard never with this person ever. Only coworker energy. It's about to be very publicly known. So he's been claiming that basically um, he was with this person like sexually or with this person as like a fiance or a spouse or a sneaky link or, you know, like with her, with her. But it never was the case. I heard it was strictly coworker energy. And I heard it's about to um, be very publicly known, basically, that he was never with her in a romantical sense or sexual sense. It was strictly co-worker energy, period, point blank. Um, it's about to blow up on his ass in a huge way. He should have never lied. It's about to blow up on his ass in a huge way. He should have never lied. So he lied and said he was with this Leo feminine sexually or romantically or what have you, what have you, but he never was. It was strictly co-worker energy. Um, and it sounds like co-worker energy of the past. Doesn't even sound like it's current co-working, current co-working space energy. Heard it's about to backfire on his ass in a huge way. And it should, because you shouldn't be going around saying you're with somebody romantically or what have you, what have you, or sexually if you're not. And that's just the truth. Um, it's a Scorpio masculine. He could have Scorpio in his sun, moon, rising, Venus, ortho, and Haven, Jupiter charts. And it's a Leo feminine. Um, he was gossiping and slandering, basically. Um, I heard it's about to backfire on his ass in a huge way, and honestly, it should, and that's just the truth. All right, I love you guys so much. I hope this helps, and namaste.